Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here with the Dyson Sphere program. It's the game that everyone and their dog is playing right now, so I figured I would check it out. Uh, it looks pretty amazing. I guess you build this giant thing around a star. We're going to start a new game here. I do have a seed I'm going to use up here, and we're just going to go with um, the defaults, except I might give myself a little bit more on the resource side here. Not infinite, but maybe... I don't know, 3x. I don't think it'll matter much, but here we go. So there's a bit of a opening scene here. I think I will leave it because it's pretty Welcome cool. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Looks hot. Look at that. Oh boy. So the it's kind of like Factorio meets Satisfactory. Um, Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland. Starting the center touch, brain. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Kind of want to go down to that thing, but I think we're supposed to go to this planet. Looks pretty wet. It's like looks like 50% water. I don't know if we get to pick where we land. I'm going to try to land where there's a lot of land. That kind of looks good down there, but actually do we even get to pick? Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Nope. I think it picks for you. So I did play a little bit just to kind of get used to the controls and stuff. Didn't want to get too spoiled. Reminded me of Factorio a lot, which I do have some series uh, on the channel with. But it's not just building a factory on one planet, it's building a factory on many planets to build the Dyson this Sphere. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful... I might skip power. some of this you stuff here. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In or this not. mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Okay, we're gonna not read the guide. <laughs> Because I have played a little bit. Now um, try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. I guess I should recycle this thing. We get five bottles of energy. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. So yeah, you, you can write several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. So yeah, you can right click to collect stuff. Luckily, we we landed by some coal here, uh, and you can use coal to power your mech. If you hit C, you can get this fuel chamber here. We do have some energy. We also get this starting energy, hydrogen fuel rod. I'm gonna stick some you coal in here. Mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view, or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're probably good here. So, what do we do? Um, where are we? Let's kind of zoom out here. There's like a a planetary mode, in and the then planet a view mode. You can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button drag to roll the angle of view. Press yes. M key to point to the front to the North Pole. Yes. Okay. And then you can also oh. slide the mouse. I should have turned him off. Uh. Enter the star map <laughs> mode. Yeah, so we can zoom out here. Unlock the construction menu, which and then zoom out again. Automatically, when complete any technology research, click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree so and actually, activate a research. We're actually on a moon here. Looks like. 
around some kind of, I don't know if this is an ice giant. And then eventually we're going to build a Dyson Sphere around that star. And I don't know if you could build multiple Dyson Spheres because we're in a we're in a galaxy here with many, many stars. So we're going to head back down to the surface. It's like very, uh, very big in scope when you think about it. I'm going to collect some resources around here. We got some rock. I think that's rock. We got titanium ore. We got some stone. Let's check out the research tree here. Uh, main quest. Electromagnetism. We get some wind power. Tesla towers are for like, basically like power lines, but wireless. And then we got mining machine. Let's activate that. Lack of research items. So we need to get some magnetic coils to get that going. Uh, and to build stuff, it's F. So we're going to build some coils here. Produce um, five. Actually, we're producing one, sorry. Well, it's producing two at a time. We'll just build a bunch of those. Okay, we ran out of material. So that research is flowing now. It's just using these out of our inventory. That's going to go pretty fast. So we got some power. That's good. We're going to need that. What else do we got here? We got... You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Yeah, the game gives you, kind of gives you uh, one, of, one or two of things. Let's see here. Inventory gives you one, when you unlock a research, it just gives you one of each, which is kind of nice. So where are we going to build? Uh, we've got some iron over here, some copper over here. That's the kind of two starting resources that we're going to need. Um, I want to be able to easily get them though. This one's kind of got some water around it. Later on you can fill in the water. But let's zoom out a little bit more again. Oh, it's going to be hard to see at night. Maybe we'll just get started over here. But this is close. Get a mining machine set up. And that's, you can do it from under here, a gathering, mining machine, and you can rotate. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. Okay, there we go. Now we need power. Let's get, uh, this UI is in the way. Let's get some power going here. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Thank you, game. Wind turbine. <laughs> you have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. There we go. So these are like wireless antennas. The first ah, I gotta turn them off. Tesla tower. I wonder if there's, if there's a way. Settings here. Tutorial, maybe? Um, tutorial. I should have turned it off earlier. Show all tips. Uh, it can carry anyway, it'll, it'll be good for you guys watching as well. And expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. So we do some ore flowing in. Once it gets to 50, it kind of stops because it's full. Let's get rid of some of these trees. They're in the way here. Some grass. Clean up the area a bit. And we should probably send that ore somewhere. We gotta figure out where we're gonna do our production. I think production up here would be nice. We got a big giant area up here and we can cut, we got stone up there we'll eventually use. So we could kind of grab this copper, hopefully feed it through here and come up through here and uh, build some stuff. So we can't build belts yet. So let's see what our next research is here. Basic logistics, belts and things. We'll activate that. We're going to need to build wheels, gears, I don't know, 
metal plate and these circuits. So I think we can hand build that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, circuits. And these wheels. Before logistics though, I might need a smelter to get even more metal plate. We might be okay though. What are we missing? We'll build a few more here. Out of stuff. We can also grab this while we're waiting. The sun is coming up. Now you can fuel your suit with wood, coal, I think maybe even oil later. Okay, what do we need more of? A few more of these. We can't. We need copper. Okay. Off to get some copper. We'll eventually join up our power grid. I really hope I can feed it through this area here. Uh, we'll just grab some manual here first. But let's build another miner. That's going to take a while. <laughs> Actually, let's let's DQ everything here. Actually, I think it needs everything. I think this game came out like maybe like 10 days ago. So, a lot of other YouTubers they're way ahead. That's okay. I'm going to take my time and enjoy it as usual. Let's try to build one of those thingamajigs. Minor things. Uh, I don't think we need to optimize this fully yet, so we'll just put it, put it there. And we'll build some more power. Build a few of these. Build a few of these. And while we're waiting, I guess we'll queue up some stuff here. And you can hold shift to copy buildings, which is pretty handy. So I'm going to copy this wind turbine, put another one here. We'll try to get them as close together as possible. Another one here, lack of item, got to build another one. It'll be ready soon. And we better fuel our mecha here. Mech? Uh, what else can we stick in there? Some plant fuel. Copy another one of these right here, maybe. And then I think I'll put a Tesla tower once I get one. There we go. Stick one of those maybe here to feed the machine. And she's online. Grab a bunch of those and get the next piece of research going. So we need circuits and wheels still. Getting used to the keys still. Okay. Build components. Uh, some of these. Some of those. Now we can build storage later and queue this stuff up, but I think I'm just gonna try to bring a maybe a belt out this way. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, Yay. which can achieve full automation. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. So kind of like Vectorio, you get belts. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition. Use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key.
The first time I played, the coal was not anywhere close, so this is kind of nice that it's right here. So what's next in the big research tree? We've got smelting. We will want that. We're going to need these uh, magnetic coils and circuits. So let's make a bunch of those. So I gotta plan out where I'm gonna do stuff and we'll pick up some stone while we're doing it. Clear the ground. So we gotta we gotta need we're gonna need a place to smelt copper. I could do it right here. We got a little bit of space. Leaving room for the coal later on. Or we could kinda take it out that way. I don't need a whole lot of it to start, so I might just do it right here. Put up a few more belts in here. I guess I could, should keep going in a straight line. Lots of hand building to start. Gotta keep that research flowing. We need more of these. You can actually do this down here to make a bunch at once. Let's go pick up some stuff. Okay, we got the smelter. Let's drop one of those puppies down right here, maybe? How's our power usage? You can check the whole power grid by you clicking on any smelter, power building. Which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically, while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously. You need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Yeah, so one thing I like about this After game. Selecting the recipe, oh, come on, game. You can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Okay. Uh, under logistics, we get this new sorter. It's really cool because it can span, I think, the three is belts. A transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. There we go. Ore is going in. Plate is building up. And then we're going to need a belt to get the plate out of here at some point. And we do have storage now, so we could start storing things, but I'm not really sure what I want to do next. Let's just... Matrix are kind of like Energon cubes. There's like a bunch of different colors. Uh, we're going to need these, so let's activate that. And we're going to need more of these but we can't because we're out of iron let's go get some iron from here iron ore now what I think I'm going to do here is wrap a belt around that way maybe but we can't because we need to build more of them Yeah, kind of wrap it around this way and do some production up here. That went really fast. Look at the speed of this thing. Crazy. Okay, I'm also recording at 4K. This game's pretty beautiful at 4K. Uh, it should look nice on YouTube, I think. Like, look at this. Pretty nice. Let's get a belt going out of here. We're going to go... This way, and then this way, I guess. And I might store up a bit of ore. So if we put a storage bin... Don't have any, don't have any storage bins. Let's make one. Make a few. These use actually concrete, I think. Which comes from stone. So we'll store up a bit of ore in case we need it. Probably won't need it, but... You never know. Stick one of those right here. 
Now the nice thing about these storages is you can control how much goes in there. Which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Yeah, I don't want a whole lot of it. So we're going to put... Um, I'm going to stuff some in there. Just so this can keep flowing. Now I don't think you need copper ore for anything, so we won't do that. We won't do the same thing there. I think I might... I might set up a little mining depot for coal here as well. So let's do that. Build one of those. Need a bit more power, probably. Yeah, just get some coal going in a bucket. We can also fly a little bit, but it uses energy, so we're not going to do too much of that yet. So we'll stick a miner here. That's not a miner, that's a smelter. Miner right here. Oh, I wish you could... There's probably a way to rotate the other way, but I haven't figured it out yet. So, eight, one million, that's probably fine. That needs power. So, let's get some Tesla towers going down here. I don't want to block myself in too much, so we'll put one there. And then maybe one right... Oh, we need another one. Let's build another one. Build a couple. Right there. There we go. We got coal going. And we want to store that away somewhere. So we'll just do a little storage bin right here. I'll put it off to the side. We'll put a little bit of the belt. Right. Oh. More belt needed. I always need more belt. And we're running low on energy here, so let's stick some of this garbage stuff in here. Shift click to move it over. Get a little belt going on. And then put the storage. Just hanging off it a little bit. Get more of a top-down view here. And stuff some of this in here. I don't want to fill the whole bin though, so we're just going to get... Maybe... That much for now? Maybe a little bit more actually. A little bit more. And get another Tesla tower going. There we go. Coal is going in. We're going to need that for our suit, so we'll grab it a little bit now, fill it up, come back later for that. The suits do get faster. There's a whole set, another set of research up here, upgrades. So the mecha core, might as well get that going. That requires some plate, but I think we have to finish this first. We need more of those t coils. And we should probably get some metal plate going here as well. But where to put it? Um, kind of need a... Oh, there we go. We can start making energon. <laughs> which is used for uh, more research later on. Okay, we need plate for this, so let's... I am going to I am gonna put a smelter here for now. It won't be where my big smelting setup is, but we'll just put a little bit here. And we're going to stuff some ore in there. How's our power? Fine, we're good. We got lots of power. Okay. Another Tesla tower right up here. We're going to make one. Yeah, we get uh, mining coverage later on. There's an overlay thing as well. We can turn on the power grid overlay and other cool stuff. Don't need it on right now. It's good when you're zoomed out though. So let's move this over here. 
You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. I might actually keep my smelting column here because we got space. We're going to need this metal ore as well as the, the plate. So I'll have to keep this belt going as well. But let's shift that. When you copy a building, you also get uh, the recipe that was being used, which is kind of nice. Let's get a bit more belt going on here. Collide with other object. Um, it's not working. It might be too steep here. Not sure what's happening here. That is not connected. Can we? There we go. Connected, and we can shift click this to copy it. Get another one of those going. Now they're going to fill up pretty fast. So we'll want to get a belt here to offload. Let's turn things around here. We'll get a belt going here, going this way. And offload this stuff. I think I... The game is farting. I think I need to make more of these, these bad boys. Let's, let's see what the next research is going to be here. Oh, we need a bunch of plate. We need copper plate. Let's go grab some of that. We we can buy. Actually, it's over here. Oh, I haven't been storing it up. Not good. <laughs> let's put let's put a line here as well. This will this will head off into some kind of main bus later on. And we're running out of power. Power load, one, two, hundred percent. Okay, let's build some more power. Let's put that over here. And put another one here. We'll just kind of fill up this area around here. Without getting in the way of the that, because I might want to tie in there later. Let's make a big chain of wind turbines here. As close together as possible. Okay. I did kind of watch some other people's videos. Uh, Sky Storm is like pretty far ahead in the game. And there's this logistics building you get later, which is kind of like drones in Factorial where uh, you can kind of get rid of belts and just have little robots and transports flying around. But I don't know, I think that comes quite a bit later. So you're going to be stuck with a little bit of spaghetti. Depending on your organization skills to start. Got to clean up this area a bit. Okay, how's our power now? Okay, we're good. Spike in at 60. There's a bunch of graphs too, like if you hit P. We got a lot of cool graphs here. Got our research flow, which is not flowing yet. We got power. Dyson Sphere. Okay, let's get this stuff going off here. And we're going to have to flow this over somewhere. But I'm going to do the same thing here. I might steal... Actually, we could steal some out of here. Okay, what's next? Um, technologies. Basic assembling. I think we can probably do that. We need some circuits and some wheels. Okay. We'll hand build those. We'll build a few extra because we're going to need it. Maybe grab some of this plate that's been accumulating for hand building. And we're, we're going to offload the plate out of there.
let it build up. Looking good. Basic assembling. Very much like satisfac uh, sat <laughs> satisfactory. Now in your inventory there's this little arrow here you can sort everything, which is kind of handy. What should we do next? We got fluid storage. We, this requires the blue cubes. I don't think we need that yet. What else do we got up here? Logistics 2. Let's maybe do that. That maybe makes sense. We need the cubes. Let's see what the cubes take to make. They require circuits and magnetic coils. And magnetic coils require those magnets, which is just made out of ore, and copper plate. So we'll probably want a belt of copper plate and iron ore, and then we'll make these things somewhere. So where do we want to do that? Let's turn things back around here. I got a nice strip of land going this way, so we could do it there. We have some trees in the way though. I wonder if you get like some kind of death ray later. Or flamethrower. Or grenades. Blow the trees up. If you hold shift, it queues up all your commands. Which is kind of nice. Clear it up a little bit more, maybe. Okay. Belt time. We're gonna need the ore. Extend this lack of item. Hmm. I think I'm gonna make a whole crap load of belts because we're gonna need a bunch. We'll jack this up to 10 here. There we go. Lack of item. <laughs> Okay, where's a straight line? I think I'll line it up with the grid here. So it's kind of nice and straight. And this one will take over this way. We'll have to c turn the corner here. And head up that way. We're also gonna need that copper, so let's go grab that. Copper bars, this might have to move. Shift, copy. Oh uh, yeah, it's in the way. We can move it. If you destroy stuff, you get it back, so it's not a big deal. We'll go X, kill that. Shift, copy, another one in. And keep this belt going. Oh no, I've done it again. <laughs> not a problem. Put another one in. He's killed the power. Grab some of this production here. We're gonna need it. Um, oh, it's probably excruciatingly slow the way I play, but I'm still learning stuff. Okay, I wanna extend this, but I don't think it's gonna work because of the... Hmm. We'll try to build it like this first. And then maybe connect it after. Nope. Oh. Maybe kill that and then reconnect it. Nope. <laughs> maybe we'll go around. There we go. I think later on we can flatten the ground out so that doesn't happen. Core energy will be uh, depleted soon. Okay, let's put some fuel in there. And go grab some coal. And fuel it right up. Grab it all, get it in our suit. Looking good. Let's build some energon in our in our pocket for a while here. We'll just go for max. 
just have that queued. Okay, we got three lines of stuff. Good, wholesome stuff. And I'm gonna go straight this way. We can put more smelting along here. Let's go here and shift click and bring that along. We're gonna go maybe, I think we're gonna need some room in between for machines. So I don't know how far I wanna go there. But let's get this going here. Glide. There we go. We're heading this way. Same here. Heading up this way. Now, what do we want to build? We were talking about building these things first. Magnets. Okay, let's put some assemblers down. We could probably stick one right here. Maybe down here. Sexy machine. Look at that thing. Okay, what are we going to make? We're going to make... Actually, you know what? These things are smelted, not, not assembled. So we will take that down for now. Put a smelter in instead. Gotta make one. I'll we'll clear up the queue here. Smelter. There is a way to recharge your mech later. You get some kind of uh, wireless charging. That comes off your power grid. Oh, there's some more copper up there. That's good. Okay, let's get that smelter down. Now, do we want it here? Mm, sure. I think it'll be okay. That, we're going to make magnets. So we get some power in here. Try to keep these between the belts, I guess. I wonder if that'll work. They're overlapping ever so slightly. Yeah, it's working. Okay. We got magnets being made once we hook this up. Let's get a bird's eye view here. We'll shove this into here. Looking good. It's keeping up. Okay, and then we'll get a belt of these coming off, I guess. Or we could just shove them directly in. Let's see, what do we need here? Copper plate. I think I'll make a belt of magnets. And then we'll feed magnets and copper plate to make those uh, coils. And hopefully we don't run out of room. We could just make them locally here, but I think I'll just make a belt of, belt of them. Okay, let's maybe destroy a little bit of that. And uh, is this gonna line up? No, I gotta go out one and then over one. Looking good. Let's queue up some more Energon cubes here. And we're going to shove some of this into here. Actually, that's not what I want yet. I don't need those yet. We'll, uh, we'll not do that. We need a belt for the magnets. That's what I was trying to do. And these, these uh, sorters, they can reach, I think, three ores. So one, two, and then we can even go more, but... 
and we need power. We'll stick that over here, maybe. Okay, we got magnets. Perfect. Now we're going to leave some room to make more magnets if we need. And let's just extend this. Shift, click, come on. There we go. Oh. Or maybe we'll have to... Oh, we got some terrain going down here. No, I want to connect. <laughs> There we go. We'll add more if we need it, but we want to assemble some stuff together here. Assembly machine. I think that'll fit between the two. Put it down here a little ways, just to in case we need it. I think I'm out of belt. Surprise, surprise. Sort our inventory. Get our mech fueled. Let's take the plants out with the coal in. It'll last a bit longer. And the power, I guess we'll just keep copying it over here. And we're going to make magnetic coils. Heading that way. Let's put the copper in there. Magnets in there. Is that all I need? Yep. Looks like we're kind of running low on magnets. So we can put another inserter or sorter. Shove them in even faster. Still not keeping up. Oh, actually, now we're fine. Now we're fine. That's because we uh, we got blocked there. Now, what's the next thing to make? What are these blue things? We need circuits. Circuits require just the two plates, which we already kind of have here. Now we could make a belt of just just magnets, or what are these things called? Magnetic coil. Or we could feed them directly in, but it could become a bottleneck, so maybe I'll get them off to a, their own belt and then refeed them, if that makes any sense. Okay, I don't, this, I don't get this collision thing, it's really annoying. Guess we'll just have to kind of be dumb about it. Oh no, it's gliding. <laughs> there to there? Nope. Oh, what a mess. Okay. Try that again. Something is not right here. I have seen others get some issues with this, but um, I think it's because the Maybe we can go down a level. Nope. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure if I went down a level there or not, but it seems to be good. Grab a few more of these out of here. And we'll make a third belt here. This will, let's let's queue up some more belts while we're waiting here. How many do I have? Forty-six. And we're gonna offload those bet those coils. There we go. This should be coming out now. There they go. Circuit's next. That's just the two different types of plate. So, where should we do those? Um, we got... We got everything we need here. We're gonna go down this way a little bit. 
lack of item. Well, we can solve that. Okay, we'll build two. Okay, well, we're gonna leave a little bit of room. Probably unnecessary, but stick it here. Get the power extended. Lack of item. We're gonna need a bunch of these, so let's just queue up a bunch. Oh, that's not going to reach. We'll bring it a bit closer, but not too close. Because we want a room. We want room for that third belt. Do some good deforestation here. Okay, how's our power doing? We're fine. We're not really producing anything. Uh, we copied that assembler, so that's bad. Let's. Cancel that and get circuits going here. And feed them in. Feed in the plates. Mm. Oh. Not enough. It seems like those actually need power, so we'll put a Tesla tower over here as well. And fix our belt here. Collide, collide. Can we lower it? There we go. Just keep going in that, that straight line there. It flattens the ground when you do it, so. I think we're collecting soil as well when we do that. Okay, how, how do we have... How much space do we have up ahead? Quite a bit, so we're good. We do have a whole planet. Which will uh, take a long time to fill, I think. We can always... Improve things later. That's my... Uh, that's my... The way, I, the way I roll. Okay, we got... Uh, feed these in here. I think it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Circuits require 2 iron, 1 copper. That's why I put 2 inputs here. Looking good. I need a place for the circuits to go. <laughs> What else do we need? I think we can start putting these together now that we have everything we need. But where? Um, I might not have left myself enough room. Actually, we're probably okay. We need the science thing. The matrix lab. This thing can make the blue cubes as well as consume them. I think I might put one here temporarily. And Matrix lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. I don't, I don't know what happens if you split off a belt like this, but we're gonna try it, maybe? <laughs> oh, it just turns it. Okay, I think later on we get splitters, so we'll just for now stick this in here. See if that works. 
These require coils and circuits, so... Hmm. I've kind of boxed myself in. But we can, put, do, we can do a belt over here and feed in through here, I think. Like, do a belt along here of circuits. I kind of should have extended this a bit more, actually. Maybe we'll do this a bit differently. We'll cancel that. Dismantle. Dismantle. We're going to offload the circuits here. Oh, too far. Oh, yeah, I, did, I, I built this. Well, we don't need this ore anymore, so we can put the circuit line in here. Just zip that away. And a new line under here. Hopefully that let's put it under. Yep, that looks good. This will be circuits. I think this will all work out. Trying to copy the sorter. There we go. Offload that there. Yay, we got circuits. And things aren't too spaghetti. We got straight lines except for this little nib down there. Okay, research. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. This iron's kind of in the middle of things, but... I think we can get everything offloaded that we need for the research. Okay, let's stick that as close as possible. We got a bit of room here, so we can... Oh, we'll leave a bit of room. We'll put that there. And more power. Let's put that... Right. I'm uh, right here. How is our power doing? Fine for now. The wind continues to blow. Okay, we got the. We're gonna produce these. Guess I better fix this here. Bring this up here. And we're gonna smush stuff in here. That goes in there, and those go in there. And we should start to get these cubes. Uh, lack of material, no power, no power. Could stick it right in the middle here. I don't think it's gonna get in the way. That's kind of a waste. We'll stick it over here. Oh, we gotta we gotta bring it in. We'll put it right here. There we go. Look at that. Cubes are being made. It only took me 55 minutes. It's not a race though. Okay, now that the cubes are being made, we can feed them into another machine. I think I need to make another one of these things though. Another matrix lab. Where we have no plate. Let's go grab some plate. I think I have some cute up here. And while well, I'm over here, how's our, how's our power situation? Oh. Pretty good. Let's stack that up. I think I have some coal on me, actually. Feed that in there. And we'll grab some copper while we're over here. Unless I have a bunch. I have quite a bit. Actually, we're good. I always like to get things set up and then if there's any bottlenecks, just kind of in, fill in, but... Now we can build one of these. Looks like it's making glass out of stone or titanium. Okay, this is full. Let's, uh... 
copy this and put another one right here. Hopefully that's enough space. That is not enough space. Let's try that again. Leave a little bit of room. And offload this to here. So one is building the cubes and then one can consume them. So you can pick you can pick make cubes or research them. So there we go. Okay, we got a power we got a brown out, so let's put some power in. I don't really have anything over here, so we'll just keep plopping down the power. Don't want to get in the way of the coal, so we'll put it right here, maybe. Queue up a few more of these. How many do we have? Three. Let's put another on three of those in the towers. We got four. That's probably good for now. Now, how's the power? We're spiking a little bit. Oh, let's put some more in. Just kind of zigzag them. <laughs> I think we'll be fine for coal for now, so this is not a big deal. This will be the power area over here. We're still spiking. We need batteries. I don't think you get those till later, but... Okay, research is coming along. Let's check our graph here. How many research bits are we doing? 8.8. .8. Now, we want to stuff more stuff in here. Actually, I think we just can't keep up. So what we can do is actually build one of these on top. So we'll build another one. Build another two, maybe. So yeah, some buildings can stack storage, these things. So we can build it straight on top, and it kind of shares between them vertically. So there we go. It should be making more now, overall. Assuming it's getting everything it needs. That's full. And that is all, actually we're low on circuits. Let's get another circuit loader here. Not enough. Chuck that in there. Circuits are saturated, that's good. And this is counting up, so that maybe, maybe. <laughs> I think we're browning out as well, so we'll just slap some more power in there. If we walk over water, we start flying. Ooh. <laughs> Wasting fuel. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. It seems like a good place to stop. Oh, the research is just about to finish. So we get faster sorters and we get um, splitters, which are pretty cool. But it seems like a good place to stop. We got some basic stuff set up here. I'm just going to keep playing with the research. Uh, there is a big research tree. There's some pretty crazy stuff in here. Mission complete. Universe Matrix. So we're just making one research. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, and there, there's certain materials on other planets we're going to have to go to to get 
I'm looking forward to this stuff. And then we got upgrades. We got a whole bunch of upgrades for our mech. Look at all this stuff. So I have been playing um, uh, Stardew Valley as my main series on the channel, but I'm gonna sneak in episodes of these maybe every other every other episode because I think it's gonna be a hit and I really enjoy it. So hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.